John, say good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sheila North. Janet Stewart is away. We start with breaking news tonight. Authorities in Saskatchewan say Miles Sanderson has been taken into custody. San Sanderson has been charged in the stabbings on Sunday that left 10 people dead. Police located him near Rochthorn, Saskatchewan. They say there is no longer a risk to public safety. Meanwhile, family members of some of the victims spoke to the media today. The CBC's Adam Hunter is in Saskatchewan and sends this report. But first, we want to warn viewers that details in this story are distressing. The mass stabbing attack that left 10 people dead has rocked the community of James Smith Cree Nation. Nine of the victims were from the community, including Mark Arcan's sister, Bonnie Burns. Burns and her adult son, Gregory, were killed on Sunday. Arcan says one of his nephews was stabbed but survived. How can some, somebody do this to women and children? Words can't express the pain that we're feeling. When Arcan received the emergency alert on Sunday morning, he made the two-hour drive to the First Nation. He discovered that his sister's home was a crime scene. She was killed by senseless acts, her son, she was protecting her son. She was protecting these three little boys. This is why she's a hero. She's a true matriarch of the First Nations way of living, which is our women take care of our, our homes. On Wednesday morning, the coroner service and RCMP released all the names of the victims. Nine of the 10 are from the James Smith Cree Nation. They range in age from 23 to 78 years old. Through our family, we have one of our aunties that's been affected by this traumatically as she's related to 70 of these victims. That was her home community. So you can see the devastation of what this is to our family. The attack has generated international attention. On Wednesday, Queen Elizabeth sent a message saying, my thoughts and prayers are with those recovering from injuries and grieving such horrific losses. I mourn with all Canadians at this tragic time. Candlelight vigils are planned in three Saskatchewan cities on Wednesday night. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina. Once again, the update on the breaking news is that authorities have the main suspect in custody. Saskatchewan RCMP say Miles Sanderson is now in custody. And there is support available for those affected by recent events. The Hope for Wellness helpline is available to all Indigenous people across Canada. Counselors can be reached by phone or online chat 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And the toll-free number is there on your screen, one 242 3310.